Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD training course. The topic for today's lesson will be text formatting. So um, basically we have two ways to, to create text inside AutoCAD. Uh, the first one is called multi-line text, which is this option here under the home menu, then annotation and multi-line. Or uh, we can create text with the single line command. Today we are going to see only about multi-line text. So calling multi-line text and uh, the first step is to create one area uh, where we are going to create our text. So we will open and choose a rectangle and then we get this ruler um, and we get a lot of options on top to work with the text. And this is no more, no less than a, a mini word processor. It is very similar. So basically, we just have to write down what we want. I can write this, AutoCAD 2016, make enter, it will change line. And I can apply, I can uh, work with these, um, these symbols here to create paragraphs, indentation, whatever you want. So, for example, I can drag this and this is the beginning of the line. So, and enter and here I go again. Um, I can create this symbol here clicking with the right mouse button. Or, or the left, it's uh, direct. And then if I do the tab, it will move forward to this symbol. Okay, tab. And I can write also. And I can, I can create multiple of these things. Okay, so tab, tab. And with these symbols, I can change them. And this is line, uh, aligned to the left. I can change in the line to the center or to the right or this last one, which is a mix of, of them. So I can work with this to create what I want. OK, so now we have the styles, which uh, you already know about it. We have the annot annotative option. We've seen them already. The text height, you know it. Then we have the mask. I will leave this for the end. Um, then we have this match uh, formatting, which allow me to choose one area of the text and apply the formatting to another area. In this case, it's the same. Then I can do this kind of uh, intervention doing bold or italic or underline, whatever it is, or make this as a kind of uh, um, superscript or subscript uh, like in mathematics or this kind of thing. So I have a lot of options inside this. I can choose the font. OK, uh, I will take this out. I don't like this. Um, upper case or lower case, I can choose the color, creating this on another color, and I can clean the formatting I have, okay, or at least remove the paragraph only or the character formatting. I have a lot of options here. Uh, in fact, I can open and have more options to work with this. Besides, I have the justification. I can line these with all these options, top, top options, middle or bottom options. OK. Um, I can work here also with uh, bullets and numbering. I can create uh, with numbers or letters or whatever. So, for example, numbers, I can create this. OK, sorry, one enter bullets so now do another one let's create number so autocad and open 
and create this kind of thing. I can change my spacing, give it a little more or less. Uh, I can do these alignments, left, center, whatever it is. And I can open for more options also with the indentations and the paragraphs and all of this. So this is uh, very complete and very similar again to a mini word processor. I can have also configuration for the columns where I can go and say um, the wides, if they are dynamics or not. You can explore a little about it also. We have also option to create symbols. There are interesting symbols like the diameter or others which you can use here. We can create fields to put uh, special uh, comments or these information you have, like the date or device name or whatever. So we can create this kind of, of fields. And these options here we will see in, in our uh, next lessons. So whenever you have all this, these configurations done, just click outside, okay? And it will create your text okay it was quite small the text size was, was small um, one interesting thing about this is uh, you can click on it and you can uh, repeat it again whatever and do and call the command or just edit okay but for example um, there is one nice option also for example if I create only one word, I will say AutoCAD again. <clears throat> and now, for example, if I want to create a frame around this word, I could create a rectangle, but if for some reason uh, I change the scale or the size, then I have to remake this rectangle. But I can have this, uh, for example, with the properties. Okay? I can Call properties um, in, in several ways. Okay, for example, here, and there is one property down here, text frame. Yes, okay. It's all the field, but you can have this frame around and take it out or not. Okay. Um, one other interesting thing is, for example the match option that we did not see inside. I will create one rectangle. I will put an edge pattern, for example, this one inside. And now I will create one multi-line text on top. Okay. And I will make this a little bigger. Okay. And I will make no mask. So I will say no mask. So, for example, AutoCAD, and you see that the letters and the pattern is mixed. But if I do a little different, like um, create another multi-line text, create again, I will say again a little bigger, write down the word AutoCAD and say mask, use it, OK. You see that it uses a background in these particular cases. Okay, I can edit the pattern, so you see that it's one complete entity. But when it is when it is visible, you see that it has this background to hide the lines. So basically, to work with the multi-line text, you have these options. There are some details that you might need to explore but I think you have a global look on the main possibilities you have with, with this command.